the chargebacks, you know, like how did, how did that guys affect you when you first started out versus now? Yeah, my relationship with chargebacks was pretty simple. I just understood that, okay, so 20% of people are going to fall off the book. So if I wrote 10K in my head, I was like, I only wrote eight. Then I just had the mindset and the expectation that instead of it being 10, it was eight already. So I accounted for the chargeback. Your first year in business, it's like running a restaurant, right? Like if you take two weeks off in that first year and you own a restaurant, like, dude, that might kill your restaurant. So it was the same thing in this. I was like, look, I'm just going to grind for a year, get a good foundation foundation and then that's exactly what happened and then once the back end money and the residual starts coming in and then chargebacks you don't really see them for me i was really bad with chargebacks dude i like my first year like i was pretty bad and then once i finally got the hang of it started running business like crazy there was a point like in december like i went on this uh christmas trip with my family and i just saw like six seven eight ten thousand dollars of chargebacks just charge up like literally within a week sitting there like dude I am so screwed. Like, what am I going to do? And dude, like, I would try to write it off and it would just keep coming back. And, you know, my problem was that since I took so much time off and I didn't write it off, it just kept on stacking up, right? Because, like, they always say, you know, a policy a day keeps a charge back away. So once I took that whole time off, I just saw everything just start piling up. And I was like, dude, now I got to play catch up.